I don't know, I mean, they're both about whales. Uh, should we read the storm whale or the snail and the whale? What, which one do you think we should read? You don't really want to read a book about, about whales. Well, then I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose the storm whale. Today, guys, we're going to read the storm whale. It's by Benji Davies. The Storm Whale by Benji Davies. Noy lived with his dad and six cats by the sea. Every day, Noy's dad left early for a long day's work on his fishing boat. He wouldn't be home again till dark. One night, a great storm had raged around their house. In the morning, Noi went down to the beach to see what had been left behind. As he walked along the shore, he spotted something in the distance. As he got closer, Noi could not believe his eyes. It was a little whale washed up on the sand. Noi wondered what he should do. He knew that it wasn't good for a whale to be out of the water. I must be quick, he thought. Noi did everything he could to make the whale feel at home. He told stories about life on the island. The whale was an excellent listener. The night was drawing in and it was growing dark. Noi was worried that his dad would be angry about having a whale in the bath. Somehow Noi kept his secret safe all evening. He even managed to sneak some supper for his whale. But he knew it couldn't last. Noy's dad wasn't angry. He had been so busy he hadn't noticed that Noy was lonely. But he said they must take the whale back to the sea where it belonged. Noi knew it was the right thing to do, but it was hard to say goodbye. He was glad his dad was there with him. Noi often thought about the storm whale. He hoped that one day soon he would see his friend again. The end.